This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. And there was a real diversity in your game, even in your 4-4 start. You had a couple of uh, short mid-range jumpers, you had a driving layup, you had a putback, and then it seemed like you turned a little more to your post game. Not all part of just the ongoing uh, diversity in your game that there's just a lot of different uh yeah um you know that's the point of the off season come back a better player and uh that's my progression so uh still trying to figure it out staying aggressive and uh keep uh keep getting more advanced uh so was mentioning that during the run you and your dad was very vocal with the young guys so what were you what was your message to them as that was going on and also was like having back on the bench. Uh, one, it was uh, we were down what seven, like a minute or two minutes, and uh, my biggest thing is like I always believe you can win a game. At the end of the day, uh, you always have a chance, and I feel like they took my advice. Uh, they took a hold of the game, and then Javante made it made made a great play. Uh yeah. Just uh realizing that you might have a easy driving lane or or, or uh an easy advantage. So uh that's what I've been working on this whole summer. Uh trying to get easy buckets for myself. Uh, you know, he's like the, the, the director for traffic. Uh, you know, he sees, he can see the floor. Um, and he just, how many assists he have tonight? Five. Yeah. Kyle is taking all my assists, but I'm okay with it right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really mad about it, uh, as long as we keep winning, but. You know, he's controlling the tempo for us. He's controlling the pace. And uh, we're just getting out and running and being aggressive. And then just the, the two-man sort of thing you guys have going. There was one play uh, in the post, I think it was the, the, eight, the second quarter. You kept passing back and forth <laughs> until finally, like, he just he gave it to you and, like, just go. Like, just take it or whatever. I mean, there really seemed it's only been three weeks that you've been together. I mean, do you sort of feel you fast-tracked it or – does it just feel natural? Uh, it feels natural. When uh, you play with a guy with such a high IQ, you know, he makes the game easy for everybody. And uh, just being able to be on the court with him, he makes my life easier. I make his life easier. Uh, so we're going to continue to do that. You talk about the first time of your game. I see you get a lot from the elbow before you're from this game. It seemed like you were – Kind of right inside the wing from the deep mid range. Is that something? Was that intentional? Was that just natural flow of the game? Is that something you kind of realize and attack a little bit more from that, that area of the floor? Uh, yeah. Just realizing I have space. Uh, I feel like that was the biggest thing for me last year. I didn't realize how much space I really had. Um, so definitely looking to keep getting, keep being aggressive, uh, finding those gaps, trying to get foul, get easy buckets. And you know, help my team. All right. Next, we'll take a question via Zoom from Donovan Campbell. Hey, what's going on, Bam? How you doing? Oh my God! Awesome, bro. Um, so the last time I was at practice, I was talking to PJ, and he mentioned that he's going to coin the term "the pound" for you guys, meaning the dog pound. Just talk about the dogs that you guys have on this roster right now. Yourself, UD, obviously Kyle, uh, PJ, and Jimmy, and, and the list goes on. Just talk about that. Is this moving? Okay. All right. I'm not tripping. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, uh, repeat what you said. It's all good. I get I get you were distracted. Yeah. The last time I spoke to PJ, he talked about he's going to coin the term the pound for you guys, the amount of dogs you guys have in that locker room. Just talk about that dog mentality you guys have from, you know, 1 through 13, whatever you carry on this team going forward. Uh. You know, we already gave it a name. It's not really a dog pound. We call it the kennel, though. 
Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, we call it the kennel just because a lot of dogs that are dogs go to the kennel, man, and uh, they be there. So uh, <clears throat> it's one of those things we were, we consider ourselves underdogs, overlooked, and uh, we fight our way out. And that's kind of how the, the the kennel goes. You know, you fight, you fight to survive. And uh, that's what we all go by. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.